done, we'll be going over the basic functions of the AT102 G2. If you notice, to the top left corner of the keypad, you will find your power button. Toward the back of the unit, you will find many different ports, beginning with the power cord port, your grounding port, the Ethernet cable port, you have two USB ports which are used to perform software updates or to export ECG reports into PDF formats. Uh, you will also find two RS-232 ports which are for the communication cables to the treadmill or the bike. And last, you will find your ECG patient cable port. Upon power up, the unit will automatically go into your patient data screen. You can begin by entering the patient ID or choose to leave a blank if you'd like. Please note that if left blank, the unit will automatically generate a random patient ID. The next field is your patient's first name, followed by the last name, and date of birth. The format of the date of birth is very important, so please ensure that you enter it correctly. If entered incorrectly, there will be a little red X indicating there's something wrong, so please be sure to correct it before moving forward. Your next field is your, gen your gender field. You must press OK in order to highlight the field in blue, allowing you now to make a selection. You can move forward by entering the rest of the patient information, such as the height, weight, ethnicity, whether or not there is a pacemaker, referring physician, and so forth. Once all your patient information is entered correctly, you can decide whether or not you will do a resting ECG or a stress ECG. In this case, let's go ahead and do a resting ECG. So we will go ahead and select resting. The unit will then go into your waveform screen. You'll be able to see all 12 leads here. Verify that the signal is OK. And then you can also notice that you have different options. Here on the left side. This screen will now show you the waveform screen on the right, and then you have an image of the human body, which you can move side to side using these left and right arrow keys. You'll notice the lead placements, and this will also indicate how good of a quality you actually have. If you notice there, the ECG signals, is indicating green, which means good ECG quality. If there is a poor quality, as you'll see shortly, no signal will indicate a red color. Poor signal will indicate yellow. And a great signal will indicate green. Toward the bottom, you have a few commands. If you choose to go back into your patient information to correct something, you can do so by pressing here. Here you can indicate whether or not the pacemaker is off. And this will allow you to select the different filters for this report. Depending on what the doctor would like to see, they also have the option to view different lead placements. depending on the preference. You also have the ability to perform a resting rhythm ECG. Please be sure to press OK to highlight the field in blue, now providing you the option to select. A resting rhythm ECG has the ability to perform a minimum of a 30 second to a four minute resting rhythm ECG. If the signal quality is good and it is agreed, you can move forward to performing your resting ECG by selecting Auto. On this screen, the unit will demonstrate 
the resting ECG. Here on the side, you have the ability to navigate through, see the averages. Here, you will find your main values and your inter interpretation. If the doctor or the nurse agrees, they can move forward and press accept. If they choose to discard, please select discard. In this case, we agree with the test. We're gonna go ahead and press accept. This unit is configured to automatically transmit to the server. So once we press accept, it will indicate that it's saving into internal memory, and this will indicate that it's being transmitted. That green check mark confirms that it was completed. Now I'd like to show you how to manually record an ECG. After all your patient information is entered, you can move forward with selecting resting, which will then take you onto your waveform screen. If you notice here to the left top of the keypad, you'll notice a few buttons. You have here your auto print, and also a manual print button. You have your red button here, which is stop. Instead of pressing the auto print button here on your screen, you can easily do so by pressing the auto print button manually. Give it a couple seconds. You will see your ECG report here on your screen. <clears throat> on toward the bottom, you have the options of printing through the internal printer, such as, give it a couple seconds, you will have your report print. For whatever reason, the doctor or nurse then decides that this ECG report is no good, they can easily just go ahead and move forward by pressing discard. Now you also have your manual print button. Now please be aware that when pressing manual print, the unit will automatically begin to print exactly what the unit sees right there and then. Also note that when manual print is pressed, The unit will continue to print and print and print the ECG recording until you manually advise it to stop. The paper will then go to the next perforation. Also note that on manual print, you will not get an interpretation. So let's talk a little bit about the replacement of the paper. Lifting the unit up lightly, you will notice that there's a release latch here for the paper tray. What you will do, pull on the release latch. It will then release the paper tray where you will open. As you can see, the paper lies inside. The paper tray also has an opening where you could place your finger to help remove or press up the paper so you can easily grab it. If you notice, there is a black registration mark located at the top left corner of the paper. It is very important that this registration mark is always placed at the top left. Failure to do so will cause issue when it comes to printing. Now, after placing the paper in correctly, please be sure to leave out a sheet of paper. You will then manually push your paper tray back in, securing it. You can press stop and the paper will move forward to the next per per perforation. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching.